What is up, people that are internet? Sorry, I haven't posted up in a while. Life's been happening. I uh, decided to do uh, rebranding. We are now called TBG Entertainment. Since we did gaming, comedy, news, rants, gonna do reviews soon. And so we decided to just put it under entertainment rather than just like me, myself, the blind gamesman. It just makes more sense. And it sounds, it sounds a lot better. It's a little catchy, isn't it? TBG Entertainment. Sounds very tight. So today we didn't do a highly requested topic, a topic that's close, uh, you know, a little close to my heart. A uh, topic that affects us all, regardless of your ethnicity, your background, your class, whatever. It affects you, me, everybody. And as an authority amongst the Asian community around here, it was brought up to me that I should do uh, an expose on the rise of racism and xenophobia towards Asian communities around the world. And some other people told me, after trying to get some feedback, if I did that, I'll become a target. There'll be hatred and racism directed towards me. It would be hard for me to get a job in the future if, you know, if uh, my employers see that. Now, after thinking about all that, it did make me a little nervous to make this video, but, you know, somebody got to step up and do it. There's not enough people talking about the subject. There's not enough awareness. And plus, if it helps out at least one person, then it was all worth it. So... I don't mind being that guy. I'll take the hits, I'll take the punches, I'll take the jabs. If it helps one person out, it was all worth it. So, let's, let's get started, alright? And remember, if you appreciated what you saw, if you enjoyed what you saw, if it helped you out, show some love, show some support, subscribe, Hit that notification button, leave a comment, and stay at, to the, tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win some giveaways, some benefits, and let's go. Since the beginning of the pandemic, every woman in man panicked. Getting every single toilet paper pack, kind of ridiculous. What is more ridiculous than this? And that is dumb people hating all the Asian people for the virus. Cause it came from China, but it wasn't their fault. They had no control. It just originated there. What if it wasn't a place of your own? So why you gonna be so racist and hate all the Asians? Cough on the faces. If you're the type who would want to do that or already did that, you're just a disgrace to the human race. I want to know, why do you want to hate Asian people when people are out there on Bondi Beach or whatever place not social distance? Sing, having a party, meeting at a bar with a lot of people, then it having a barbie. Being in a big group is a lot of risk, and you want to risk your life for Bacardi, and it makes me sick. People really don't give a fuck Running their tongues over products Coughing onto fruits at the shops They're the type who don't care for life They just want to watch people die If you think that's extreme to say Then why did they do it in the first place? Tell me why All I want to do right now is survive But how can we do that when people out there aren't really doing things right? Yeah Shout out to Adam Persky for that video Thank you for contributing that track to this expose I'm going to leave a card link at the end of this video so y'all can check out his channel, check out his content. If y'all liked what y'all see, 
show him some love, give him a like, subscription, hit that notification, and also his link will be down at the detail. Now let me ask you something, and this question applies to everybody. It don't matter who you are, your race, your ethnicity, your age, gender, background, where you from, if you're mixed or not. Have you ever just been out and about, minding your own business, you had done nothing to nobody? You just like walk down the street, went to a store, got to a bus, driving, and went out in public, and all of a sudden, somebody of a different color, of a different race, portrays animosity in any kind of negative manner towards you or your people, whoever you're with. And you just know it's because the color of your skin or your people's skin. Now that right there, that's called racism or xenophobia. Like I said, it don't matter who you are, it applies to everybody. The irony is, racism do not discriminate. But yet, discrimination is the heart of racism. Watch as a man standing on the train kicks another passenger sitting nearby. Not once, but twice, the attacker kicks a 78-year-old woman directly in the face with his boot and then follows that up with four more kicks to her body before staring directly into a cell phone camera and walking off the train. Racism and xenophobia. I'm pretty sure most of y'all out there know what racism is. Don't know, don't matter where you are, racism is prevalent. Racism is part of society. Racism is part of nature. And if you don't know what racism is, it must be nice. You, are you living in a dream world? I want to live where you at. But, so, but I don't think everybody knows what xenophobia is. Even myself, I didn't find out what xenophobia is until I started researching this topic. So, the definition of racism is one, when one race feels that they are superior to the next race. And through that, they portray that superiority through through discrimination, through hatred. And, you know, we uh, we all know the whole whites versus blacks and, and whites versus everybody else. We we're those of us who live here in America. It's not so prevalent around the rest of the world, but. Race, uh, xenophobia, that is when one race feels that another race is taken away from their daily living. When something that other race did kind of makes it hard for them to do what they do on the daily. That's xenophobia. So what's going on now? is the rest of the world is feeling that China caused the coronavirus. And because of the coronavirus, people are quarantined and they can't go on with their daily activities. They feel like China took away you know, their lives. That's why the rest of the world hates China. And it ain't just China. It's anybody that looks Chinese. If you got yellow skin, if you got chinky eyes, you a target. Apparently, you then you brought Corona over here, regardless of whether you traveled traveled anywhere in the past couple weeks or not. You got Corona. You brought it over here. It's your fault. That that, that obviously, obviously ain't true. But people think it. And apparently we eat bass too. 
damn. I ain't have ever heard nobody eating bats. But apparently we do it. But none of those, those are all theories. To, even to the day, after all the research, they still hadn't find out, found out where Corona came from. But apparently it came from China. Apparently it came came from Chinese people eating bats. That's, and that's just stupid, but all that is fueled by ignorance. It ain't racism. It ain't xenophobia. The bottom line is this is ignorance. People are ignorant. That's why there's been all this hate. That's why people are discriminating Asians right now. Ignorance. I talk about the Chinese virus, and, uh, and I mean it. That's where it came from. You know, if you look at Ebola, if you look at all of Lyme, right? Lyme, Connecticut, you look at all these different horrible diseases, they seem to come with the name with the location. And this was uh, the Chinese virus. Now, I got to say, one of the main sources to the ignorance is contributed by our leadership. Trump calls it the Chinese virus. Our state of secretary, Mike Pump, calls it the Wuhan virus. The governor of Veneto, Italy, criticizes China on how unhygienic they are. And the education minister of Brazil says that China created coronavirus as their ultimate plan to take over the world. Now, these leaders were elected by our nation. These leaders were elected depending on your country by an electoral college. We depend on you leaders to guide us. We look up to you leaders. And you were supposed to look up to you leaders. But you throwing out all these nonsense, non-factual data information and it influences people people hold on to that during during the crisis during the tragedy people need somebody to blame and y'all giving the society somebody to blame and china is the main target and if you look chinese you the main target And leaders, uh, leaders, y'all need to look at what y'all doing. What, uh, look at what y'all saying before y'all say it. Think before you speak. There are repercussions to every little word you say. You live under a microscope, and the media is that microscope, and the the society is looking at the media. Oh. <laughs> Right here in our own home of the United States of America, supposedly the best country in the world. Last month, an organization called Stop AAPI Hate got reports of over 1,500 hate crimes. At least 125 of physical attacks and hundreds of racial slurs. That's what I'm talking about, people. That's our, that's our country right now. That's our situation. There are videos out there. Horrible videos, disturbing videos of Asians getting attacked. Just going viral. In San Francisco... An old elderly Chinese man was attacked by a group of young black teenagers harassing him 
hitting him, stealing his cans. Talking about, I hate Asians. There's another video of a man refusing to sit next to an Asian man on a bus. Telling him he need to move. Another video of a man kicking an elderly woman in the face. Another video of a, a woman yelling at a Chinese man to get away from her. It's not just blacks. It's not just whites. It's not just Mexicans. It's everybody. Everybody's attacking us here in America. We targets, we marks. Like I said, it ain't safe out there for us. And a uh, government and FBI, federal agencies, they ain't doing a damn thing about it. This graphic video recently surfaced on social media. Multiple young people surround an Asian man on the 3100 block of Sheridan Street in West Kensington. They strike him in his head and he falls to... Now, over in the UK, there have been at least 300 reports of hate crimes towards Asians. With many of them being of physical attacks. And to put that into perspective... And that is more crimes reported, hate crimes reported, in 2018 and 2019 put together. And when police were interviewed, all they had to say is, well, crime has gone down. They didn't put any light on the rise of hate crimes towards Asians. Maybe the reason... That crime has gone down is because everybody's quarantined. Now over in Russia, it's bad over there. Russia has banned Chinese citizens from entering the country. What if you got family over there? If you can't see your family, you want to get out of China. Police are actually hunting down Chinese people or Chinese looking people on the streets they have to have them ID themselves, They're forcing them to go quarantine. The government has made public transportation report Chinese people whenever they get into their vehicles. And police are raiding homes of Chinese citizens forcing them to go quarantine that's the situation in Russia right now it's bad Now, over in Australia, Asian homes are being vandalized left and right. People spray paint death to dog eaters. COVID-19 trying to die. Go back to China, fucking immigrants. Now, if somebody was trying to tag up my home, I'd be out there with a shoddy, with a quickness. I'll be posted up on my porch, just waiting for somebody to come. And I might be blind, but I can hear you coming my way. I was shooting that direction. Now over in India. India, 
Y'all in this with us. Y'all Asians too. This is just cause y'all skin ain't as yellow, y'all eyes ain't as chinky. Y'all Asians. Hate's gonna come towards y'all too, but over in India, y'all putting the blame on Muslims. Not all of y'all, but the ones who are hating on Muslims, there have been a rise of hatred towards Muslims. Muslims already already got it hard. There have been an increase in physical attacks and social attacks. There's a hashtag that went viral called Hashtag Corona Jihad. They're blaming it on social gatherings of Muslims for their religious efforts. And the government isn't doing anything there either. They're saying, let's have togetherness, let's have brotherhood, and not hate on each other. One of many incidents across the country now being reported. Asian Americans targeted for their race. In Texas, this person yelling at a Vietnamese restaurant owner. And this man and his two children stabbed at a Sam's Club. The suspect, according to the FBI, thought the family was Chinese and infecting people with the coronavirus. Now over in Sri Lanka, they hating on Muslims too. The government has made hate speeches directed towards Muslims. They're boycotting Muslim businesses. And the worst part, if you're affected and die because of the Rona, you have to be cremated. By law, you have to be cremated. That's a violation of religious freedom and human rights that you have to be cremated. And if you even complain about it, you get arrested. You can't even speak up about it out of fear. That's Sri Lanka for you. A lot of times people think they can just fuck with Asians and... We won't say anything. We won't do anything. There's no Black Lives Matter for us. There's no Black Panthers for us. There's no, you know, civil whatever movement for us. Now, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about everything going on right now? Well, I feel afraid. I feel like that it's not safe walking out the door. I feel like you need know, to watch my back everywhere I go. Going out in public, I could be shot, I could be shanked, I could be spit on, I could be yelled at, kicked out of an Uber. That's the world I'm living in. Now, I think leaders, they need to be held accountable if they don't step up the game and do something about this rise of racial discrimination and xenophobia, watch their mouths when they speak, watch their fingers when they tweet. I'm not talking about this Trump, I'm talking about all leaders around the world. Do something. Me? Going forward, I've actually been doing this. If I leave the house, I'm going to carry some type of weapon with me. That just makes me feel a little bit safer. And there has been reports of Asian communities buying up buying up arsenals. There is, there is a rise on people scared. And it don't matter if you Asian, white, black, Hispanic. Everybody's buy, uh, buying up guns. We in a pandemic, it's a time of uncertainty. We don't know what's gonna happen. So we need to protect ourselves, especially Asians. And finally, what we really need in the Asian community is a leader. 
we need someone to step up. We need someone to represent us, to speak up for us. We need a Martin Luther King. We need a Malcolm X. Because if things keep getting worse, as bad as they are now, we're going to need to all work together, to unite, strength in numbers. And we need someone to look up to, a strong leader. I hope we get that leader soon. Now, what do you think about this topic? How do you feel, especially if you're Asian? I want to know what's on your mind. And if you're not Asian, has, how has this affected you? Drop it down in the comments below. Let me know. Thank you so much, people of the internet, for sticking it through to the end. I hope you enjoyed. TBG spills tea. Hope you appreciated it. Hope you got something out of it. Hope it helped you out. Now, you want to show some love, show some support, give me a subscription, give me a like, hit that notification button, share the video, leave a comment. And at the beginning, I said you stick through it to the end, you'll find out about some benefits, giveaways, all the details. Of the benefits and giveaways is going to be on my Patreon. You do have to be a subscriber to be able to get those giveaways and benefits and raffles. I'll be giving out raffles. They're going to be like gift cards, merch, uh, whatever I can get my hands on to show my appreciation to viewers, subscribers of that month, that week. So, and. If you have a topic in mind that you'd like me to do, to, to go over, drop it down in the comments, put me up in my DMs, send me an email. I will take it into consideration. If, you subscri if you're a subscriber, I would take it even uh, in a big, even bigger consideration. So, I hope y'all have a great day. Appreciate it. Yeah.